So-so is good. So-so is very good. Very excellent good. Yet, it is not. It is not so-so. But wise? I, sir, I have a pretty wit, huh? <laughs> I do not remember a saying, the fool to think that he is wise, the wise man knows himself to be a fool. Wow. Do you love this man? I do, sir. <laughs> and give me thy hand. Art learned? No, sir. <laughs> then learn this of me. To have is to have. Huh? For it is a figure in rhetoric, the drink being poured out of a cup and into a glass by filling the one to the empty the other. For all your writers do consent that Ipsay is he. Now, you are not Ipsay, for I am he. Which he, sir? He that must marry this woman. <laughs> Therefore, clown abandoned, which in the vulgar is leave the society, which in the poorest is company, of this female, which in the common is woman, which altogether is abandoned the society of this female or clown, thou perishest. Now, or to thy better understanding, diest, or to wit, I kill thee. Make thee away, translate thy life to death, thy liberty to bondage. I will deal in poison with thee, or in bastinado, or in steel. I will ban thee with the infaction, I will all run thee in policy. I will kill thee in a hundred and fifty ways. <laughs> Therefore tremble, and depart. Be good, William. God rest you marry, sir. Master and Mrs. Six, you come away, away! Trip, Audrey, trip. We turn, we turn. Is it possible that on so little acquaintance you should like her? That with seeing you should love, and loving you should woo, and wooing that she should grant? And will you persevere to enjoy her? Oh, neither call into question the giddiness of it, the small acquaintance, the poverty of her, my son wooing, nor her son consenting. But say with me, I love Ayana. To say with her that she loved me, and consent with both that we may enjoy each other. <laughs> it will be to your good. For our father's land and all the revenue that was owed Sir Rowlands shall I estate upon you and here live and die, my shepherd. That's my consent. Let the wedding be tomorrow. Go you and prepare Eliana. For look you. Here comes my Rosalind. God save you, brother. And you, fair sister. <laughs> oh, my dear Orlando, how it grieves me to see thee wear thy heart in the scarf. It is my arm. <laughs> Methought thy heart had been wounded with the claws of a lion. Wounded it is, but with the eyes of a lady. Did your brother tell you how I counterfeited to swoon when he showed me your handkerchief? Aye. Stranger things than that. Oh, I know where you are. Nay, tis true. There was never anything so sudden but the flight of two rams and Caesar's personical brag of I came, saw, and overcame. For your brother and my sister no sooner looked but they loved, no sooner loved but they sighed, no sooner sighed but they asked each other the reason, no sooner sought the reason but they found the remedy. By these degrees have they made a pair of stairs to marriage, which they will either climb incontinent or else be incontinent before marriage. They're in the very wrath of love, and they will together. Clubs cannot part them. They shall be married tomorrow. I'll bring the Duke to the nuptial. Oh, what a thing it is to look into happiness through another man's eyes. And how much the more tomorrow shall I be at the height of heart heaviness by how much I shall think my brother having what I desire. Why then, tomorrow I cannot serve your turn for Rosalind. I can live no longer by thinking. I will weary you no longer then with idle speaking. Know of me then, for now I speak to some purpose, that I can do strange things. I have, since I was three years old, conversed with a magician, most profound in his art, and yet not damnable. If you do love Rosalind so near the heart as your gestures cry out, then tomorrow when your brother marries Eliana,
so shall you marry her. Speakest thou in sober meaning? By my life I do, which I tender dearly, though I say I am a magician. Therefore, put you in your best array and bid your friends, for if you will be married tomorrow, you shall, and to Rosalind if you will. Oh, look, here comes the lover of mine and the lover of hers. You, you have done me much ungentleness to show the letter I have written you. I care not if I have. It's my study to seem despiteful and ungentle to you. You are here followed by a faithful shepherd. Look upon him, love him, he worships you. Good shepherd, tell this youth what it is to love. It is to be all made of sauce and tears, and so am I for Phoebe. Get me, Rosalind, no woman! No, it is to be all made of faith and service, and so am I for Phoebe. Get me, Rosalind, no woman! All adoration, duty, and observance. All humbleness, all patience and impatience, all purity, all trial, all observance, all made of passion and all made of wishes. Love, it is to be all made of sighs and tears, and so am I for Phoebe. Get me, Rosalind. No woman. Love, it is to be all made of fantasy. So am I for Phoebe. Getting me, Rosalind. No woman, if this be so, so why blame me to love, love you? you. You shall be married tomorrow. I will marry you if ever I marry, woman, and you shall be married tomorrow. I will content you if what pleases you contents you, and you shall be married tomorrow. As you love Rosalind, meet. As you love Phoebe, meet. And as I love no woman, I will meet. So fare you well, I've left you your commands. I'll not fail if I live. Nor I. Nor I. Tomorrow is the joyful day, hungry. Tomorrow we will be happy. I do desire it with all my heart. Well met, gentlemen. Sit and a song. A song. We are for you, sir. Sit in the middle. Shall we clap into it roundly without hawking or spitting or saying we're hoarse, which are the only prologues to a bad voice? Uh, if faith, if faith, and both in a tune, <laughs> like two gypsies on a horse. It was a lover and his lass, with the hay and the hoe and the hay la me know, that o'er the green cornfields did pass. But a flower. In springtime, the only pretty rings 
that though, that the shepherd boy can do all this that he has promised? I sometimes do believe and sometimes do not. Those that fear they hope and know they fear. Patience once more whilst our contract is urged. You say if I bring in your Rosalind you will bestow her on Orlando here. 